we're ready to play. Let me start by saying this can be a very brutal game because the heart of the game is this combat area. For combat, we have this lovely little ginormous hammer die, all right? And let's just take a moment and look at the sides of this die for a minute. Two sides are gonna be blank. So a third of the time, you're gonna roll a zero. Okay. Two sides will give you one hit. One side, so one out of six times, you're gonna get a double hit. One out of six times, you're gonna get the highest possible combat value, which is a three. Most of the time, however, when we roll this, ooh, I'm rolling well today, that's a good sign, we're gonna be seeing blanks and ones. So before we decide to move into combat with one of these enemies, we need to power our characters up. That's gonna involve the forge for weapons, the elves and the vikings for allies. So in the early part of the game, I kinda let the evil forces crouch in closer and closer because I just don't have enough right off the bat to generate a combat strength of five, all right? So I'm gonna let these guys kinda do their own thing outside of the walls of Asgard. And I'm gonna spend my time powering up Odin and Thor. So when it's time for combat, we have a chance of defeating these enemies. All right, so let's get started. Two parts to every turn. The first is you reveal one villain, move the token, apply the effect. The second part of your turn is you get to take three actions and they must be from three unique areas of the board. So no revisiting the same area twice. All right, that's your whole turn. Now, because we're playing with Odin, we have a little bit of a different beginning in this game. Odin's power says, instead of drawing one enemy card, we're gonna draw two. We're gonna pick which one we want to invoke. The other card we're gonna place at the bottom of the deck. And here's a very important strategy point. That second card, we're not discarding it. It's going on the bottom of the deck. We're going to see it again. We're going to see it at the end of the game. So we have to be very careful what villains we place on the bottom of the deck. And I made this mistake of placing, let's say, three Lokis on the bottom. So the last three turns of the game, Loki advanced one, two, three areas. And all remember it takes is one of these guys to make it to level uh, to the end, to over here in Odin's house, for the game to end. So I ended up with Loki somewhere around here. The last three cards pulled him one, two, three, and I lost the game. So we don't want to put the same villain stacked up on the bottom of this deck. It will cause us a headache later. We are, in effect, ordering the end game of this deck. We need to remember who we're putting on the bottom and how many times, all right? Just a little trick for playing Odin. I learned the hard way, learn from me, um, so you won't make the mistake. So let's grab two cards, Cert or Heal. All right, so both of these guys have sort of um, yin and yang abilities, right? Cert is going to add fire giants to these bags. Heal is going to take out Vikings. So mm, it doesn't really matter which one we apply right now, but let's just remember which one we put on bottom. Let's go for heal. So we're gonna we're gonna bury heal. So remember, first card we put under was heal. And what I like to do, just to remind myself of this, is I like to turn heal's token upside down. Alright? This just sometimes I forget who I've buried by the time the turn gets back to me. This way I'll remember, okay, I put heel on the bottom. I don't want to do her again. So that leaves us with Cert. And Cert, we're going to move his counter one area. And we're going to hip apply his ability. And what we're going to do for Cert is we're going to roll the die. We're going to select that color bag 
darn it, happens to be black. And we're going to add the number of tokens of fire giants equal to the lightning bolt level he's in. So right now he's at a level one lightning bolt. We're going to take one fire giant and add it to our bag. All right. And that's his whole ability. Okay. Cert has gone. He's moved up. And now it's our turn. So we're starting with Odin. And remember, he gets to do three things. Interestingly enough, there are no tokens for your character. Odin and Thor, they don't have anything to represent them. All you say is where you're going and you take your actions, right? Your actual physical representation on this board doesn't matter. That's kind of unique. I, I can't really think of another game, you know, cooperative game where, where, where that happens. So I know for sure that I need to get some allies and some weapons, okay? So for Odin, what I'm going to do is I get three things, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and grab a weapon. Now, Cert has moved, so let's grab a weapon that's effective against Cert and add him to Odin's stash. Okay. That's my first action. For my second action, I'm going to doctor one of these bags, all right? The Valkyries can get to the White Island. It is also the worst bag. So for my second action, I'm going to come down here to the Fire Kingdom, and I am going to battle some fire giants. And here you can see this little description. It says, take out five tokens. Fire giants go here, Vikings go back in the bag. So I have 12 passable giants in here. Let's see if I can get lucky and pull five of them. All right. Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, it is what it is. I got three out of here. I got three out of here. And the two Vikings go back in. Okay. And then for my last action, I'm gonna go, go down here to the Valkyries and I'm gonna move them to the White Island and I'm now going to try and pull some allies. And you can see here for the Valkyrie, you can move her adjacent and then you pull out three tokens, keeping the Vikings, putting back the fire giants. Let's see if I can pull a bunch of Vikings here. Fabulous. Okay, so we had six Vikings. I'm taking two of them out and giving them to Odin. The fire giant is going back in. Not a lot of Vikings left. Got to remember that. And those are my three turns. Weapon. Took out giants. Moved the Valkyries. One, two, three turnover. Move on to Thor. He's going to flip the top card. Ah, Needhog. Okay. Needhog's ability, ah, he's one of my least favorites. He's sneaky. He's a sneaky snake. So the first thing we're going to do is move him forward one area. We're going to apply his ability and his ability says pick the god that is the farthest behind and move them forward one space. His ability does not depend on lightning bolts, all right? His stays the same no matter what area he's in. We have four gods right now that are all last, so it's our pick on who we want to move up, all right? And I'm going to pick heal because her ability is not so bad as the lightning bolts increase, okay? There's the second one. Thor's turn. Remember, Thor has a combat bonus of plus one, but I would still like to up his ability as well. And I think I'm going to do the same basic three. So now we have heal and need hog moving. So let's, let's take heal's weapon for our first action. For our second action, let's go down here to the land of the dead and let's add like it says we get to pick five vikings and add them to a bag let's head for the blue bag all right let's move on our next turn let's move the valkyrie and dig out of the blue bag the odds are better here especially if we add in five vikings now we have more vikings than for, than fire giants in here right 
All right, we've seated the bag. Let's do the Valkyries, move them one. We're only gonna get to pull three, and we're hoping for Vikings. Come on, Vikings. Nice, two, two Vikings out, one giant back. So the blue bag is still looking pretty good to me. And that was our three. Turn, back to the gods. Ooh, Cert is moving again. Ah, maybe not. Remember, we're on Odin. So he gets to look at two. Okay. So we know what Cert does. He's going to add fire giants, and it would move him to the last tier before he crosses the wall of Asgard. All right. And at which point he will now start to add two fire giants to the bag, and he becomes harder to hit. I don't know if we want him to advance. The good news is Odin pulled a weapon for Surt, right? So if we do let Surt advance, we have a good chance of battling him. So that, that actually looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at Loki, probably one of my least favorite gods, because remember when he advances, a frost giant comes into play. And that's just one more thing we have to worry about combating, right? Do we want to deal with them now? We've already waited and all these gods are moving forward. Let's focus here on our combat. All right. So I'm not going to use Loki. I'm going to bury him in the bottom of the deck. I'm going to flip my token to remind me. End game. We have a Loki waiting for us. All right. Odin's foresight pays off again. Cert moves forward one. I'm going to roll for it. Ah, the white bag gains one fire giant. All right. All right, Odin. We know for one of our actions, we are going to want Odin to attack Surt. We want to drive him back before he makes it up past the wall of Asgard. All right. But let's make that our last action. Let's see if we can't get Odin a little more help before doing that, all right? So if we have that for our last action, we're gonna have two other actions to spend. So let's definitely go up to the land of elves. And let's grab an elven ally for Odin. It's a one action. And for the second action, let's, um, let's push the Valkyries. Let's push the Valkyries one, go to the green bag and pull three and see if we can't get couple more Viking allies for Odin before he heads into battle here. Nice. All right. Two more. Great. Okay. Time for combat. And this is where it gets interesting. This is where we have to decide how much we want to risk. Okay. So let me pull over. We have hmm, Miming the Fire Sword. One elf, four Vikings. We need to reach a combat of five. Our plus one sword will always be effective. So now we need a hit of four. All right. That is, of course, impossible. The highest we can roll is a three. Okay. So the question becomes, how many of these resources do we want to commit? Well, we have the elf in reserve, all right? So now we only really need a minimum roll of three. How many Vikings? Are we feeling lucky? If we roll a zero and we don't commit enough Vikings, we'll have wasted you know, our turn. So do we commit three Vikings, which would guarantee us a win against Surt? Or do we just commit two Vikings. Let's commit three, just for starters. Let's start conservative here, all right? We're going to start conservative. We're going to commit three Vikings. I have an elf in reserve plus my sword. So we're definitely going to win this. What we're rolling to find out is if we actually have to commit this elf or not. Let's see how we roll. So one of you Viking allies, you're going to stay with me. The rest of you guys are going into battle. Let's see how we do. Ah! Horrible roll, horrible roll. It's a good thing we committed what we did, right? Our battle value is zero, but we have one for the sword. One, two, three, four. 
we didn't make it, let's throw in our elf for a five. All right. So all these tokens get discarded. The elf goes back to the land of the elves. The Vikings go down to the land of the dead. Our sword, we get to keep. That does not get exhausted or used. And Cert gets knocked back one spot. Successful battle, but high casualties. All right, Odin's done. It's time for his son. Thor flips another heel. All right. Luckily enough, we took the weapon that's effective against heel. So let's go ahead. I don't want to put her on the bottom. I already have one of her down there. All right. So let's go ahead and advanced heal one. Apply her special ability. She's still at one lightning bolt. So she's going to uh, remove one Viking from the black bag. Ooh, the black bag's getting hit. All right. How many can't roll black on combat? One Viking out. He's going to go down to the land of the dead. Okay. Thor, it's your turn now. Again, we know we want to come up here and fight heal. So I'm probably going to do a very similar turn with Thor. I'm going to save one of my action points to fight, meaning I have two left. So let's grab ourselves an elven ally for one. Let's head down to the Valkyries. Black Island is still submerged, so I feel like green is our best bet. So I'm not going to move the Valkyries. I'm just going to go straight to grabbing allies from the bag. Let's grab three. You got to remember, we're pulling a lot from green, so we might have to resupply them. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that was a bad pull. One Viking, two fire giants. All right. For our last action, we're going to come up here and try and take on heal. We happen to have a magical ring. One elf. Three Vikings. And of course, Thor gets plus one for his combat strength. All right. And that's his permanent battle attribute. So, we need five. We have a plus one automatically. We have a ring that gives us plus one automatically. We only need three. So let's do the same thing. Let's stay conservative. Let's commit two Vikings, put him back on our card. And if we roll terribly, which I want to do, we can always throw in our Elven ally at the end. Oh, all right. So we overcommitted on this one, right? Um, we roll the two, we have the ring, we have our hammer plus two Vikings. So we actually hit a six, all right. The elf we get to keep, we're not gonna commit him. We overcommitted on Vikings, but we're going to lose them both. So they're both gonna head back down to the land of the dead. Hopefully we can recruit them later. We'll take back our ring and we'll drive heel back. Okay, Odin, your turn. Let's peek and see who's coming next. Ooh, need hog again. And heal again. All right, well, hmm, 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 hmm. Here's the problem. The plus one artifact for heal, Thor's holding on to it right now. So if Odin has to battle heal, he will not have a weapon advantage. All right. Need hog, however, we can run to the Dwarven Forge and pick up a weapon advantage for Need hog. Problem with letting him activate, remember, is he's going to pull another enemy forward with him. Okay. Uh, and heal we've already put on the bottom of the stack. Do we want to put another one of her down there? I don't know. We don't have a need hog down there yet. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? If I put heal down there, I just have to remember that later on, she is going to be moving like crazy. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Because I don't have, Odin can't get his hands on a bonus weapon with her. So let's do it. Heal's on the bottom. So our cards are going to go heal, Loki, heal again. Whew, that's going to be tough. And for now, let's activate Need Hog. He's going to move forward one, and we get to pick which one of these guys we want to move forward with him. We're going to do your Moongand. 
because these guys are the roughest. Oh, I hate these two so much. You'll see why. I can only avoid them for so long. All right, so on Thor's turn, we know we need to get help against this sneaky snake. So let's grab Gunnir. So we can equip that for one action. For our second action, oh, here's the problem. Odin only has one Viking at his disposal. We could pull an elf, but we will only get one. But if we go to the Valkyrie and pull from a bag, there's a chance we could get two or maybe even three allies. Let's risk it. Let's head down to the Valkyries. And let's hope we get lucky here and pull a couple of good allies for Odin. Come on, no giants. Ah, all right, it paid off, right? We picked up two here instead of just one elf. But this green bag's getting low. We're gonna have to resupply it. No more pushing it, no more pushing it. Those are my two actions. Let's go fight Needhog here. All right. We have our magical spear. We have three Vikings. Here's the question, do we commit them all? Because if we commit them all, we're still only at four. Hmm. It's the best I can do, let's do it. If you're gonna fight, go all in, right? Just roll me something hot. Oh, darn it, darn it, we didn't make it. Because we didn't make it, we still lose our allies. So we lose all three Vikings. We don't have an elf to tip the balance for us. Needhog is not driven back. Ugh, that's the problem with this game. This die is so horribly wicked. All right, Thor, it's up to you, Thor. Let's see who's coming. Another Cert, okay. So Cert moves up. Ugh, Odin has the special ability against Cert. And he's going to say, roll and add a fire giant to the White bag, ooh, this white bag is horrible. All right, all right, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Thor is powered up against heal, and Odin is powered up against both of these guys. Ah, oh, this is horrible, horrible, I tell you. Okay, well, Thor can fight these guys, all right? You don't have to have a weapon to take down one of these two. Remember, there's only seven of each type of god, right? And we've run through three certs and two need hogs. So I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess that cert is not gonna move for a while. I'm just gonna take that guess, okay? And I'm also gonna guess need hog is also not going to move for a while. I'm thinking one of these three are gonna pop next. So let's send Thor to get a weapon against Yes, Majolner. Okay. That's our first action. Okay, for our second action, I feel like we've got to we've got to work on this bag right here. I'm not happy with this bag. So let's see if we can't pump up green. And four. Mm. I'm gonna say he's not going to go to combat this turn. He's gonna spend both of his actions. On the first, no, nah, no, nah, nah, took a weapon. I think we need more Vikings in here. So let's have for his second action, he's gonna go to the land of the dead. He's gonna pick up five Vikings and add them into the green bag. Right. That's his second action. And for his third action, he's going to pick from the bag. He gets three. Better be all Vikings. Oh my goodness, seriously. Seriously, what are the odds of that? There's only, what, six giants in here and I pulled two. Ugh, okay. All right. Odin, you get a look at two of these. Ooh, Fenrir and, oh, your Moongand. Okay, Fenrir. Ooh, Fenrir, you make me so grumpy. The problem with Fenrir, well, let's do your Moongan first, because he's easy to figure out. All he says is roll a die, and you're going to move which, um, which bag gets blocked. 
all right and if this was to land like on green well that would make me very unhappy because I've worked very hard to make that green bag worth something Fenrir okay. he is an enraged wolf all right and when Fenrir activates his power says priority you must calm him down okay before you can do anything else you must calm Fenrir and calming him down takes actions so normally Odin is gonna have three actions okay let's just activate Fenrir let's activate Fenrir just so I can show you how he works because he is horrible okay so I'm putting your Mungan on the bottom so it's gonna go heal Loki heal your Mungan okay all right let's do Fenrir We'll move him up one, and I'll show you how this works. What you're going to do is, his special ability says, Odin now must spend his actions continuously until one of two things happens. He calms Fenrir, or he runs out of actions, and his turn ends. And the next god, Thor, has to start spending his actions calming Fenrir. Fenrir is a very angry wolf. So Thor has, Thor has three actions. For his first action, he's forced to try and calm Fenrir. Fenrir is only in the lightning bolt one level. That means we must roll a blank, a blue, or a green to calm him down. We did it. All right, Fenrir is calm. We are left, however, with only two actions. Fenrir is the one you do not want to get past the wall of Asgard because once it gets harder and harder to calm him down and he just he just chews through your actions he's a horrible horrible wolf we never should have tried chaining him that was a bad idea okay right two actions wow two actions Odin has no allies so his combat value is going to be just pathetic so I think for his two actions the best way do we want to combat because I can spend both of my actions getting allies or upgrading weapons or I can try and combat I won't I'm gonna have to risk a good roll which I just haven't had yet hmm okay let's well let's start with allies let's see how Odin does on the ally bag that we have so kindly receded he needs three all right, all right, that wasn't bad. He got two, plus he has a um, plus one. So that would get him up to a combat value of three, which means he would have to roll a two or better to drive Needhawk back. I mean, yeah, Needhawk back. And if we fail, we lose those allies, right? So it's just not worth it to risk a battle unless you're feeling pretty sure you can win. And I'm just not feeling it with Odin. So I'm not going to attack. I'm going to save my allies for now. And for my second action, I think I am going to go to the forge and upgrade this weapon against... Yes, give him a level two. This goes back in just in case maybe Thor wants it. And now we're looking a little bit better. All right, those are my three actions. Thor looks at, oh, Fenrir again. Oh no, we have to drive this guy back. He cannot cross the wall of Asgard. If that happens, oh dear, oh dear. All right, we have to calm him. And we're looking for, yes, a blank. Beautiful. But once again, we've left Thor with only two actions. Mm. All right, he has to battle. He has to battle. Before we go in, we need ourselves, yep, we need to get some chains. That's going to be our first action, or our second action, right? Our first was calming Fenrir. We're going to pick up some chains. He has a combat of plus one, so we've already gotten two. We do not want to mess this up, so we're going to throw in both of our allies and our backup elf. All right. Maybe we won't have to use him if I can roll something better than a blank. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, the 
die is not my friend, okay. They sacrificed themselves, but it was not in vain. In the land of the dead, the elf goes back. The chain worked. Fenrir is driven back. Mm -mm -mm. So you can see we have this many enemies to get through and already, already we're having trouble holding them behind the Wall of Asgard. Mm.